Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Marlena Campbell. Today I'm going to be showing you how I do all of my highlight and contouring for my face makeup. So um, stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoy. The brush I'm using um, to put my foundation on with is MAC 187. It's like a stipple brush. And um, it just gives a really um, nice, even sheer layer to my foundation. If you need more coverage, like um, heavier coverage for your foundation, this is a brush I just got from Target. And um, it has like a conceal, it was like $5 probably, has concealer tip on it and then just this like brush, like almost like a paintbrush feel. So I would just put it on, I always start with it on my hand, my foundation, and it's liquid from MAC. Studio Fix um, NC42. Can't see that, but NC42. And um, so you would take it, put it on your hand, and then you would just do brush strokes. Like, and then at the end, after our brush strokes, I pat it down to make it all even all around my whole face. But since I wanted a little bit less coverage, you see my dog in the background? <laughs> She's totally making an appearance. That's Melrose. So I'm going to take take it on my hand, put it in my brush, kind of work it on in there, and then I'm going to start applying it all around my face. It really matches my color good. So let me get closer so you can see it. Let's put a little more, put some on my forehead. And you're going to go all around, even under your eyes. I do between my eyebrows, hairline. And one thing that people miss is right around your jawline. So you're going to do ear and jawline. Like, don't stop your makeup here. You want to, like, make sure you bring it down so then, you know, you can't really see you have makeup on. Okay, after I do that, this is NC20, it's MAC Studio Sculpt Concealer. It's, um, you can use a liquid concealer, which I, I kind of switch back and forth depending on whatever I have left. And this one is more of like a cream base. So, it's MAC NC20. You can just go up to the counter and they'll match your color. So, I'm going to take some on my little Target brush that I showed you. And then I'm going to do, I do my lines first, so I just scoop some out, line under, and this is for your highlight. So then you want to highlight your T-zone. And I kind of stop right here at the tip of my nose. I don't go down. And then, yeah, one there, one there. I just put where, like all the little places I want it first. Again, your T-zone. And then I put a little bit on my chin. So, after I have that going, I start blending it in. So I take it and go under my eyes. If you have, like right now, I have a little too much right here under my eye, so I just wipe off my brush with a paper towel so it doesn't get chunky. I'm going to bring it up and like kind of go around my eyeliner. Be careful with your bottom lashes if you do any like bottom mascara. I don't and I don't put bottom liner on either. If it's ever too much, you can literally just take your finger and wipe it off if it's going too far out of the line. I'll go in here. I just do the corner of my eye. And once again, I'm kind of just doing it like small paintbrush strokes. So once I have it kind of smoothed out over the area, I go right above my cheekbone and right down in here and right around the side of my nose. Once I have that, I just pat it down. And 
me blending it with my finger right here in my nose. Okay. So this is where I put the concealer for this front part to highlight and blend it really good. So you're going to do the same thing on all the other parts of your face. I do my chin and I bring it in. It's kind of like an, I do like an upside down triangle to bring my chin kind of to a point. And then I always pat it after I kind of make the shape I want. Then you'll do the nose, but you just take it from right here. I never go down here because it makes this part come out more. So I always start it right up here at the tip, above the tip. And I just take it up, like right there to the end of my eyebrows. And then pat it down. Until it's like and even up close and then kind of blend it even back down a little bit slightly then you're going to do these So what I like to start with is, this is an e.l.f. brush. It's their blush brush. I'll show you guys up close. E.l.f. Bl blush, blush brush, excuse me. And then my um, bronzer of choice is MAC. It's a mineral powder from them. It's Sun Power. It's my favorite, MAC Sun Power. And um, so I start off with the line defining my cheekbones and I take the elf brush which has more of a point to it and I go right in here and do like my hard line for my cheekbone and then I'm gonna do the same on this side but if your cheeks are a little fuller right here instead of um, that that cut that line you can go ahead and put more and don't do it all the way down. What you can do is just take a little bit more and you want to just put it right here at the very top half because then it gives you the more cut. If you do it too hard down, it can make your face look too hard. So right at the top right there and then it'll blend down itself. So the next brush I'm going to use is just like a Target blush brush and it's like a regular round. And what I like to do with that is I want to do around my hairline. This makes your forehead look smaller in pictures and I love that because my forehead is a little bit big. Then what I can do like without putting any more bronzer on my brush I go around my cheekbones I mean my jawline just with the leftover I do right around my ear. This makes like your jawline a little more defined and under your chin. So with this, when you put more, like I get just a little bit more bronzer and I put it under my chin, it brings this part of your chin in and also make you look smaller. So I put a good amount of bronzer under my chin and I just bring it down to match on top of the liquid I put on my neck earlier. 
always, always, ladies, please always bring your makeup below your jawline. It's the only way to get like a nice clean finish look. So now that I've done that, um, I want to take the same brush, the same one I just did all my hairline with, and I want to put some on my cheekbones. I actually don't use um, blush. I actually just use bronzer for the for the look that I do. I like that nice sun-kissed look. So you want to take it into your hairline and on your the top of your ear. And always put the most right in this area. Like you can bring some down, but don't put it in this area right here. You want to keep this ni nice and bright. Just this little area because it's going to photograph better when you do that. And take it up and kind of go down. So I do that on both sides. I always put like the bulk of it at the top to really bring out my cheekbones and then whatever's left over I just bring it down and that's how you get that faded look the key to doing like really good contour on your cheeks is just keep blending it's layering so you just put a little bit at a time because if you put it all on at once you're gonna look like you have a block of bronzer right here trust me I've done it and it's not cute so with trial and error, I've learned you, it takes a minute, but you just keep, and then you just do little circles. You can kind of blend it. Don't worry about being messy because we're going to go back with our regular powder and clean it up to like soften all the lines around it, which you can also use as like a correcting method if you messed up, um, like and put too much bronzer. So just, it takes time though. I'm going to put a little bit more bronzer on my forehead. I like to put it in these two corners. The most. And then at the top. So you want to just keep going until you get a nice, like, dark look to it. A nice tanness versus your skin tone. It definitely has to be a lot darker and stand out. These two... Like your cheekbones are the part that should have the most bronzer on it and stand out the most for sure. So once I do that, I take, this is a um, a crease brush from MAC and it's like for when you do eyeshadows and stuff. But I bought it actually to add a little bit more depth. This is another layering thing that I do for my bronzer, for my cheekbones. I just dab a little bit of the bronzer on it, tap it. So it's not too hard. And then what you can do is go in here and just cut a full line. See how it's doing a darker line? We're going to blend that up. And that's the last step I do to my face bronzer. No, that's too much cheekbones. My cheekbone contour. See how it kind of gave that cut and it looks more like a deeper cheekbone that's what you want that's what this little brush goes in and do but I only do it I always do it last because it gives a hard line and you want to blend it into the rest of your um, bronzer so I take my elf brush again and then I take that same line and I blend it up don't blend it down you want to blend it into the already existing bronzer Then I take that brush that I showed you earlier, the regular one I added all my stuff with, my bronzer with, and I'm going to do the apples on my cheeks, just really lightly. I didn't add any new bronzer to this, it's like whatever's left over on the brush.
and it kind of tanned right here and made it more full. So you have all these different layers going on in just in your cheekbones. Everything else contour wise is pretty simple. To do your nose and your, your chin, I'll just take the same little eyeshadow brush, put a little bit on, tap it off. I do right under my lip. So it makes the appearance that your bottom lip is bigger than what it is. And we all want a bigger lips. So I go with it and just kind of do under my lip. And I bring it down to go around the liquid that I have put on. And I bring it into like a point at the bottom of my chin. See how it kind of made the triangle smaller, the upside down triangle smaller. So I bronze my whole chin, brings it in in pictures and makes the only, like this white part, stand out, which is what you want. Okay, now you're going to do your nose. And you're going to take the same brush, just a little bit more bronzer, tap it off. And you're going to go right outside the lines that you have created with your liquid, your cream concealer. You're going to go up into your eyebrows. And this is what I do every single time I do my makeup. I do it this exact same way. Then you're going to... Do certain, that's why I like to use this brush because it's good for blending when you get to your nose part and um, different parts on your face because it's made for blending. So I take that brush. Don't worry if it looks kind of dark now. I like to put a lot on my nose because it makes it really defined. And I found like when I do do pictures, um, especially red carpet events and things like that, it's like I didn't felt like I didn't put enough bronzer on my nose and it didn't give the look that I wanted it to. So I always make this the darker part. Everyone know everyone's nose is different. I always like bronze my nostrils and just leave the center line on the side. I always bronze the tip, all of my nostrils. I like the way it photographs better when I do that and how it looks just in person in general. So that is pretty much all I do for my contouring. What I'm going to do for the rest of my face to finish this look off is I'm going to add my powder. So um, your normal face powder, I have, I use MAC. It's a mineral powder. It's medium plus. And, um, yeah, it's a mineral powder. Like, with a light finish, it's not too heavy of a powder, but you can use whichever one works for your skin. Skin tone is the best way to go. Match your skin tone as much as possible. And I'm going to go in and do just the parts that um, I put the concealer on. And this gives, like, it blends all the lines at the very end. I go down the center of my nose. And for this, I kind of put just a little bit of powder all over my nose. Under my eyes. Last step is this is what's going to give it like a really clean professional look is I take like a good amount of powder and I just put it right under here to bring the cheekbones out more and separate those two colors of my skin tone like the foundation and the bronzer and I do a curve right here so it's not a hard line going down. See how that kind of brought it together? Do the same thing on this side. So this is before. And this is after. I'm going to bring it up, like circle around this part so it's nice and soft. 
it up and down here. And then it gives it that look. So that is how I do my highlighting and contouring for my face makeup. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment below. And until next time, thanks guys.